good morning today guys now today i realized that my fan that i use to keep me cool while i'm playing gorilla tag broke so i'm gonna see when i open this up let's see what's going on in here okay so we're just gonna have to unscrew this okay sorry if i have some weird camera shots and if my voice sounds muffled because like i'm wearing a mask okay it's just this screw so oh yep that'll do it okay That's one screw. I'm going to put that on this piece of paper so I don't lose any of the screws. And basically what I'm trying to do, if you don't know, I'm going to unscrew the back plate and I'll get a good look at the fan. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. It doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. Okay. Okay. It's literally just... Okay, one, two, three... Four, five, six screws. It's only six screws, so it's not terrible. And I wanted to do it in my like back room, kind of like my work room, but oh boy, okay. Now this fan is busted, so I'm not too worried about like losing a screw or whatever. Sorry if I get some bad camera shots. It's because I'm holding my phone with one hand and reverse engineering this at the other so if you get some bad phone angles that's why and then here we go take that screw put it over there only got two more screws left so this shouldn't be too difficult this should not be too difficult all right let's go okay got one more screw and then we'll be have access to the fan itself now this is my first time reverse engineering the fan i've reverse engineered other things oh i've never done this before okay of course there has to be a weird clip what the heck is this on oh shoot there's oh dang okay um Dang, other than it being really dusty in here, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. I just see something like hot glue or like thermal paste. I don't know, I've never done with electronics before, so. Look at that. That is some dusty, that's a dusty fan. That's, is that, it's not the dust, it's something with the motor. So I'm gonna see if I can open up the motor the problem here is that see when i'm turning this thing on it's it, it's not doing anything i mean obviously because it's not plugged in but i don't really see what's going on here maybe it's something with the moat because oh i know my dad said something like that shoot i might have unscrewed that it was something maybe with the fan maybe the motor isn't hooked up to the fan that might be the problem. Okay. So we're gonna have to re-screw in all this. One second, I gotta re-screw in the back plate. Otherwise, it's gonna fall apart. So let me just re-screw in the back plate really quick. I'm sorry, with bad camera shots, I can't do this with one hand really. Okay, there we go. Okay, only five more. I think what's going on here is that the motor might be not hooked up to the fan blade from a tumble. Might save us like 20 bucks if I can fix this. This is my first time doing something like this, so it's fine. So all you fan people are like, this isn't that difficult. It's like magnetic. Apparently my screwdriver is magnetic or something. Okay, I gotta line this up. Okay, that's the problem the screw it's not lining up properly okay let's see if this will work now oh what it this screw does not want to work what's going on here okay i will not refuse this it is 
this fan is weird. Okay, I gotta line this up with the hole properly. You know what? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do this screw and put this screw here and stuff. It doesn't. As long as we get shoot, most of the screws in. As long as we get most of the screws in. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. There we go. Oh, just got these. The two bottom ones. And then it should be mostly sealed. I just got that screw in there. Okay, there we go. Another screw goes in here. Okay, there we go. Okay, the back plate is mostly on. Okay, let me see if I can get this working. So, shoot, where'd that fall? There we go. Okay. Sorry for the bad camera. Okay. I don't have a GoPro, so it's much more difficult to like align these screws and hold my phone at the same time, which is probably not the safest method, but you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, that's mostly the back. I'm not gonna open this back plate. Right up. Yay, more screws. I know. You guys are loving the screw ASMR. Okay. So, here's the thing. With taking it off, I have to get every single screw. So, it's going to take quite a bit of time. And this isn't what I usually post, but I wanted to see if I could get this fan working again. It's been seven minutes already. Getting these screws off is a lot faster because this fan is old, so the plastic is heck kind of bent, and I can't fix that. If I can get this fan working, I'll be very happy. Okay. Only have three more screws, guys, okay? Three more. Shoot. Okay. Oh, that's... This screw does not want to come off properly. Okay. What is up here? Ah. Phone's blurring it. Sorry for the bad camera shots again. I apologize. Okay, there we go. Now this should come out. There we go. Okay. That screw took literally a minute of just unwinding that. Okay. Never re reverse engineered a fan before, so this is a new experience for me. No, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Well, this works. Pretty sure every engineer in the world is probably screaming at me, being like, I'm stupid and I didn't do something right. I'm just gonna flip that that way. Oh, shoot. Might be a problem. Dusty. Now, I don't know if the, what the motor's doing. If you can get, like, a good look in there, that'd be great. Shoot! There's more screws. Um, this probably is going to take more than a tug to come off. Sucks because I don't want to have to reverse engineer the back plate again. So, yeah. Well, 
you know what? I'm just probably going to post this as is. And if you guys want a part two, you get a part two, okay? So I have to reverse engineer this back plate again. So, yeah, bye.